Hey there everyone, it's Sarah and it is 10.14 p.m. Uh, I was going to make a video before I went to my boyfriend's house, but I was like really, not like really manic, but I was like hypomanic. Uh, I was up all night and I, I just like was so deprived of sleep that I was really energetic and like not hyper like I usually am when I'm like that. But, um, just, like, all over the place. <laughs> um, sorry. I've got, like, oh, serious itchy nose going on. Um, and my throat has been hurting me on and off again. Um, mainly because my other grandmother, who I don't live with, did not tell me that everyone was sick when I went over for Christmas. And she keeps insisting that it's because, um, the fact that supposedly, if you're sick for a few weeks, you're not contagious. Um, but she's not a doctor, nor am I. Um, from my experience, however, with my <laughs> poor nutrition right now, uh, my issue with that is that everyone's immune system is different, so you cannot really say whether a cold is contagious or not. And if you're coughing and sneezing, which I have to sneeze, so <laughs> if I do, okay, <coughs> oh. <laughs> that was a really weird noise I just made. I don't know why I make that noise after I say mm, I'm sick. But yeah, um, if you're coughing or sneezing, <laughs> that was nice timing, um, then there's always a chance that you're going to get someone sick. And even if you're not, there's always a chance that you're going to get someone sick, even if you don't feel sick yourself. Um or didn't even know you had a virus in you. Um, because everyone's immune system is different, and mine is probably very weak. I was just fighting off a cold, so that also weakens it. And for someone to tell me that they're not contagious because they've been sick for a few weeks, well, first of all, that's a pretty bad cold if you're sick for a few weeks. Like, that's bad. Um, and, yeah, you might be getting over it now, but... First of all, my, my aunt was not getting over her cold at all. She had, like, no voice. So, that's that's a whole other story. But I don't think I caught her uh, her cold. I think I caught one of the more mild ones that were involved. But, um, I don't know. I was just, like, really irritated by that. Because, like, how the hell would she know if I'm going to catch something or not? Um, she's not even a doctor. And, yeah. So, I was like, well, no offense, but you... Like, you don't really know the details of that any more than I do because you're not a doctor. And she was walking out the door at the time, and she goes, well, that was nasty, and just shuts the door. And, like, she didn't do it, like, angrily, but it definitely hurt. Like, I'm not trying to be nasty. It's just, like, how would you know? <laughs> when people just claim stuff, whether they've heard it somewhere or not, even from one doctor, I mean, that's why there's second opinions. The medical science is not is not as stable a science as some others. It's not like, uh, you know, chemistry, where if you put this and this together, it always explodes. It's so different when it involves somebody's biology, um, because everybody, everybody is different, and it's just uh, frustrating um, when somebody makes a claim like that and then gets angry that somebody points out, well, you don't really have the expertise to say that, um, especially because I feel like, and yeah, I'm only 21, and she's obviously a lot old, I feel like I've done more reading on the health subject than she has, um, because, um, she's, like, always telling me how, you know, if I don't drink milk, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm going to get osteoporosis. Meanwhile, she's drank milk her whole life, and she has to take calcium supplements because uh, she doesn't have osteoporosis, but it's a concern. Um, her bone density is low or whatever. Um, so it's like, um, where where does your three glasses a day come into play when that's that's the results you're getting? And then she tells me that, because, you know, apparently she knows all this, that uh, if I went raw vegan, that I'd, I'd be even worse off, which is, well, proven to be false. Um, 
I don't know, I just don't know where she gets her stuff, and, um, you know, she really shouldn't get mad when I point out that she doesn't have the knowledge, um, because I wasn't trying to do so, uh, in anger, I was just saying, well, how do you know, and it was a legitimate question in the scenario, and, um, she really, I don't know that she actually cared that much, but the thing that she said really offended me, like, <laughs> I wasn't being nasty at all, I mean, that's, that's an intentional thing to be nasty, and that's not the type of person that I really am, so for her to say that was nasty in itself, if you want to go by her definition of, if it's taken that way, then it is, um, so, I don't know, I'm just sick, and in a bad mood, and tired, and I was sleeping since, like, 2.30, and... I don't know, my, uh, my boyfriend and I hung out today, and, um, I left at, like, 1.30, or well, one forty-five because I just didn't feel good, which is sad, because I love spending time with him, and we had this really awesome moment, and, um, I don't know, I just wish I could have stayed and, like, spent more time with him, but I'm just grateful for the time that we had, and that... Um, I was feeling really out of it, because I hadn't slept last night, and I was just, like, really all over the place, and I was like, I need to ground, and <laughs> what I did actually had the opposite effect, um, but definitely focused me, um, and I asked him if he would, um, let me guide him through a meditation, and then, um, when we were holding hands and snuggling when we did it, and, um, we were, like, like, he was laying on this side of me, and then this hand and his outside arms hand were together and um it was kind of like that there was like a space between it but a little bit closer um but like our hands weren't really touching it was just like our fingers interlocked and like our hands close together and um there was such a strong warm tingling pulsating energy between our hands it was amazing and I just I asked him if you know we could set a goal for us as a couple for the next year, and, um, he couldn't really think of anything, so I just made the suggestion, because I wanted him to pick something, um, maybe we could each pick something, but, like, I didn't want him just, you know, be the only one, you know, directing this, so I wanted to have him interact a little more, but he couldn't think of anything, so I said, um, what about creating moments like this, not necessarily spiritual moments like this, but, like, memories, that are this good, that feel this good, and, um, we let go and let the energy out into the universe, and it was just lovely, um, so today hasn't been all bad, um, it's definitely balanced out with, with a really lovely moment, um, I just wish I wasn't feeling <laughs> really sick, because I could appreciate it more if I was up, um, you know, on my A game, but then again, I probably wouldn't have done it if I wasn't feeling really weird and spacey, um, in the first place, but, yeah, it took me a while to get off that high feeling that I get when I'm doing magic, which I didn't even mean to do magic, <laughs> but I did, and it took me a while to get off that high feeling and to actually want to ground myself, so, um, when I finally did, I ate an apple, which kind of brought me back to the earth and where where my body is. Um, but he just, he snaps out of it so quickly, and I was like, how do you do that? And I was still uh, spacing out. He was, like, trying to have a conversation with me, and I'm like, and he's like, oh, so um, one of the new games I got, like, right afterwards, and I'm like, we were still snuggling, and I'm like, how do you do that? And he's like, do what? And I was like, change so fast, and I was just like, la, 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 and he's just like, oh, I, I don't know, like, he's really good at, um, shifting his energies and, um, redirecting his focus, um, uh, when he wants to, um, you know, do such a thing, and I'm impressed, really, um, you know, he didn't really, he's not really studied Wicca or anything metaphysical that much, so, it's, it's just, like, for someone who's been, who found Wicca when 
like 10 years ago when I was 11, and then someone who knows about it, knows some stuff, but doesn't really uh, have as much research under his belt. Um, I guess it, it just shows that for some people it's more, it comes more readily, and then also <laughs> that it's not just about research, it's about experience, so, yeah. But, uh I need to start feeling better. I'm sorry I keep wearing my same pajamas, but they're really comfy, um, by the way. I also found my fuzzy purple socks, which are awesome. They're not as dark. They're like, I'm looking at them, they're like a lavender color. But, um, they're fuzzy and soft, and it works with my fleece purple, um, pajama set. So... Hmm, to end on an entirely random note, let's talk about pajamas and socks. Yeah. Anyways, um, yeah. Here's wishing you all, um, fabulous moments like I had today. And better health than I have today. And, um, I'll be back hopefully before the new year. And, uh, just in case, have a good new year. And have a good 2011 and set some goals for it. <laughs> Alright, I'll see y'all later. Bye.